Pete here with the Small Business Resource Center and PeteGustis.com. A couple little things here. Um, obviously, you're probably aware, but yesterday, uh, Governor Wolf, he decided that all non-essential life-sustaining businesses uh, need to close to prevent the coronavirus. I'm going to have the link here. They require that you give them your information to download this document. But if you watch the video at the end, I'm actually going to go through every page. So if you don't want to download it, you can just watch the video, pause it where you're where you need to be and, and look up the information. But uh, apparently after this Saturday, if you have certain businesses that are open, <coughs> which um, except for like food businesses with drive-throughs, if it's not considered life-sustaining, you are not allowed to be open. Uh, in other news, <coughs> I don't have the coronavirus, excuse me, However, I did come back from California recently. If you didn't see that video, I'm going to put a link in the description. Um, but this says Wolf has no authority to close private businesses in Pennsylvania. I personally kind of agree with this because I'm kind of confused what's going on. The coronavirus has a 2% effectiveness to kill anyone. And if you're not aware of it, there are other videos that I have. I'll put in the description. That's extremely low compared to a lot of things like bird flu, um, SARS, or other type of pandemic type things that we've had in the past, which are much higher. And obviously nobody wants anyone to die, but when you're looking at what's been happening in the whole United States, this seems like it's out of control. Um, but let's just switch to the link. This is gonna be the link that's gonna be in the description as well. If you want all the information, I'm not going to ramble. I'm not that type of person. I like to get people information. But uh, we'll start up with natural resources and mining. If this is what your industry is, you can pause here and see if you're affected. Look at construction next. If that's your industry, you can pause here to see if you're affected. We are looking at manufacturing. So if you're in any type of manufacturing, you can pause here to see if you are affected. And this is the second part of manufacturing, just to make sure I've had this blown up so it's easier to see on the screen. Manufacturing continued. <clears throat> if this is yours, um, feel free to pause here to, to get an update with your information. And this part here, manufacturing, this is your part feel free to pause to get an update of the information trade and wholesale <clears throat> feel free to pause here to get the information if that's what you're looking for uh, transportation and utilities that's what this section is feel free to pause here if you're in retail to see if you are considered life essential <clears throat> Transportation and utilities, feel free to pause here to see if you are essential and if you're shutting down. Information, feel free to pause here to see if you're affected. Financial activities, feel free to pause here to see if your financial activities are here. Of course, my primary occupation is <coughs> real estate, so you can see um, you know, I personally wouldn't say I work out of an office, but they, they have the shutdown. So I don't know how this is going to affect me, but real estate and leasing is here. Professional and business services. If you're in that industry, feel free to pause and see if you're affected. Education and health services. If you're here, feel free to pause and see if you're affected. Leisure and hospitality, <clears throat> feel free to pause and see if you're affected. And then other services, exempt administration, feel free to pause and see if you're affected. Repair and maintenance, automated services, so your car has to run, that's good. 
Um, well, I'm actually going to be making another video. And if you want this email, support at smallbusinessresourcecenter.com. I'll, I'll type that right here so you can see it. I'll also put it in the chat. If you want a PDF and don't want to give the government your email address and contact information, I will let you email me. But this link will be here if you want to put your info in. And, well, of course, the government's going to get your info. I don't know why they can't just make this easy so you don't have to give them your information to get it. It seems kind of shifty if you ask me. But, of course, I did it because I'm trying to help everybody. Pete Gustis, Small Business Resource Center, and PeteGustis.com. Um, oh, also, they did are saying that they're going to be forgiving mortgages. That's going to be the next video I'm making this afternoon. I might put it on my real estate channel, PeteGustis.com, which I'll put in the description. I might, I'll might, i probably put both these videos on both. So either way, um, well, have a great day. For small business help or real estate, it's PeteGustis.com and SmallBusinessResourceCenter.com. I don't know what's going on here. This is crazy, if you ask me.